Okay, here comes a bicytopenia, and actually, um, it you know it's almost a pancytopenia, but the patient has neutropenia, anemia, and progressive functional decline. In fact, this patient, the family was really worried uh, that they were going. She was going to have to go into some kind of assisted living, some kind of. A place where she was uh, had staff watching her. Uh, just her ability to get along day to day had been changing uh, dramatically. So her white count was 1.5. Again, you know that's going to be a neutropenia. She was anemic, and her platelet count was 177. Now let's look at her blood. Here's her red cells. She is anemic. Here's a neutrophil. And here's a lymphocyte, looks like it has granules, so it's probably a large granular lymphocyte. Here's her bone marrow. And first, you know, again, it's artificial to look at one slide of the bone marrow and think you can know everything about the differential, right? But obviously, mature cells greatly outnumber immature. That's the first, even at a glance, that you can tell that there is complete maturation. We're going all the way down to neutrophils with no problem. And the erythroid lineage is going all the way down to orthochromes. And there's probably even some reticulocytes in here if we look long enough.